Hello everyone and welcome back to another Green Man Travels adventure and today we're on a new mod map called Farmville Island. Now this mod map was actually released today on the 10th of the 4th 2024. This map is only PC and Mac compatible. It's on a version 1.0.1.0 so it's uh, slightly updated from my initial release and it's 40.91 megabytes download and it's been made by a map maker called Farmer Rabbit. Now, as you can see, this is a pretty bog standard of flat kind of survival start from scratch base map, but uh, seems to have quite a nice few features. There's a little bit of a story on Mod Hub and some information, so I'll read through that now quickly. So this is Welcome to Farmville Island. Due to severe climate changes, Central and Southern Europe have been flooded due to rising sea levels. What remains of the old lands are small islands dotted around Central and Southern Europe. Farmville Island is one of those islands that emerged in the aftermath where growing crops and raising livestock is still possible. Ooh, maybe it's a bit of a premonition. You are tasked with establishing a new farm to fill the lack of farming products on the market after the floods. You will start with the absolute minimum regarding farming equipment and farm buildings. There wasn't enough time to save more before the flood hit the land. Will you take on the challenge and prosper once again? Wow. So there's apparently 27 farmlands. It is complete in a flat map. Use the water tower on farmland 3 for water or place your own water tower because the uh, water around the map is actually seawater so you can't use it. The sell point of the shop takes every single product and there's also an animal trader. So yeah, let's get our feet firmly back down on this probably wet and soggy island and see what we start with. So as you can see, we don't start with a lot of equipment. We've got the Stayer Tractor, the Rochelle Math Harvester, our pickup truck, a crampy half bike trailer, the header for the Rochelle Math. I think that's a Pottinger plow, a Rab cultivator, the, uh, I think this is the Nordstein Cedar Power Harrow and a weight. So nothing major, but just enough there to get you started. You don't have any lease items and there's no map slash mod specific vehicles. So pretty basic. But we actually start here so oh we're a bit quick here but we've got our open shed here bits of equipment and we seem to have saved with us a caravan so let's just make sure my triggers are turned on which i think they're probably off there we go this is our sleep trigger there and we've got a water trigger here as well so this is where you can get your water from so not bad at all let's have a look on the pda around the actual uh, starting area so we own pot three by the looks of it so we've got is that the water trigger yeah water tank and our house trigger and then we have a field and that's it so we're on a tiny small island in between these two bigger islands or actually just one big island with a bit of an inlet for the, for the sea as you can see though Lots and lots of areas there to buy and purchase. Quite a lot of farmland, a little bit of woodland in places, but nothing like uh, no man's land. Crop calendar wise, completely standard. Nothing's changed. Looks completely default from the base game. Selling places, everything sells in at least the farmland shop. A few things do also sell at the Matthews gas station, but nothing major. I think there's one more I found. No, just there. That's diesel. If you made diesel, uh, no, no, no selling point for honey though. That's interesting. Just one thing to remember. But everything else all sells at the farmland shop, so nothing to report there really. Uh, animals wise, yeah, we don't have any, but we can put our own pens down. Lots of space. Same thing with contracts. No other NPC farmers on this map, but kind of makes sense. No production chains, but again, makes complete sense really, doesn't it? So, yeah. Um, PDA wise pretty basic so as you can see outline shape rivers I'm um, sorry sea and then they have a couple of dirt tracks to get from your farm around the outside of there and then to this main area here so not exactly anything revolutionary but pretty good survival map on the PDA slash map itself you've got an animal dealer you've got Andrew's gas station you've got the farmland shop and you've got the vehicle shop so not too bad at all we get into a vehicle, I think. Yeah, the lizard pickup is actually at the shop here, so pretty standard, basic looking shop, really. But you can buy all your equipment from here, you can do some servicing, repairs, etc. So that's pretty good. Clever motors, we buy very good. So 
Looks like all the areas start off as grassland or meadow grass. And obviously, as you can see, completely flat map. Really big, thick, wide um, paths though and tracks. So that's not too bad at all. So just fly down here a little bit and see where this takes us. Yeah, so if we go all the way down here across the bridge, it takes us to our farm. I don't think there's really much point in doing much more of a tour. Wow, that was close of the actual uh, map itself. It's a pretty basic map. Nice bridge here though, nice and wide though. Still got quite some big combine or harvesting equipment across here, so that's good to see. I'll see your starting plot of land. It's pretty good, it's not a bad size. We've got a field that's withered already, so a bit of a problem, but. Obviously we've got room for expansion, um, around the back there, could cut that and do some forestry, get a bit of wood gone as well, make this into a bit of a field here as well. So to be honest with you, not a bad start for a survival map, quite a nice looking survival map I must admit. I like the idea, very nice idea, so obviously you can see our vehicle is quite damaged and has no diesel, so it's probably the same as everything. We've we'll got our pot prices though, so we're in three, let's we wanted to buy one probably. 32,000, 8 with a bit of forestry, 67, 18 is 44, right, 4 is big, 272, 8, oh that's 5, sorry, 251, 7, 175, 6, 107, okay, so let's look at a few of these here, 24, 27,000, 18,000 for 22, 27,000, 33, 15, has got a road through it, 61, so pretty fair map prices when it comes to the plots and bits and bobs, so yeah, not a bad little uh, survival map with a quite a nice storyline to back it up, so hopefully you've enjoyed this map tour, if you have, give it a like, subscribe to the Greyman channel, and I hope to see you again soon, many thanks for watching.